Okay, today I'm going to be looking at the key differences between heat and temperature. Lots of people tend to get these two things mi mixed up or confuse the two. They are different, different things, different quantities. Temperature is a, a value that we're all familiar with and it's to do with if you've got a material that's made up of particles which tend to be like the atoms that make up the material these particles vibrate and the vibration of these particles is what the temperature is temperature is a measure of that kinetic energy and we measure temperature in kelvin now heat is an energy that we measure in joules and heat is the transfer of energy from a hot body to a cold body and it's not the same as temperature it's it's got it may or may not increase the temperature but it isn't it's not temperature it's a different thing so we can look at this idea by seeing what happens um, in a material in a substance if we increase the thermal energy or add heat energy to it so let's look at that like we do a lot of things on a graph so if we've got let's draw our graph What we're going to be looking at is on the bottom we've got our heat energy which usually we call q or let's just call that heat energy so this is how much heat energy we're putting into the material or substance and up the side we've got our temperature in kelvin This is in this would be in joules or SI units. So if we start in the bottom corner, now we know that technically we can't get to absolute zero, but we'll just assume that this is, isn't really zero, but it's just close to zero. If we increase the heat energy of a substance, then the temperature increases and it increases linear linearly, um, like this. So, and here we have a solid. So as we increase the heat energy, the temperature increases. All that heat energy goes into increasing the average kinetic energy of those particles, increasing the vibration. But something happens when we get to like the melting point. So if this temperature here, if this is our melting point, And once we get here, what happens is this all the extra heat energy we put into the material, instead of increasing the temperature, that energy goes into breaking the bonds between the molecules. And so we get an increase. We're still putting in our heat energy, but the temperature isn't increasing anymore. And this is called a phase change. So in this region here, we've got the material is changing from a liquid it's both a liquid and a solid it's going from a solid to a liquid so there's no increase in temperature because all of this heat energy is going into breaking the bonds now the next stage once everything is melted then we have a liquid and then what we find is when it's a liquid the energy goes into actually increasing the temperature increasing the vibrations so we have this region here and that happens up to the point where we get to the boiling point. So this is the boiling point. And then once we reach here, the same thing happens again. The energy doesn't increase the temperature. It doesn't increase vibrations. It goes into breaking the bonds between the um, your particles in the, in the liquid. So we have a, a region again where the heat energy doesn't increase the temperature. It increases the distance between these particles. And that, that's when we go from a liquid to a gas. And then once we get to a gas, again, we have the same kind of line. The heat energy goes into changing the temperature again. So here we're at a gas, and here we're both gas and liquid. So I'm hoping that by looking at this diagram, you can kind of see the differences between like heat energy and temperature. 
So temperature, remember, is the vibration of particles, and heat energy is a transfer of energy from a hot body to a cold body. And this diagram here is basically showing us what happens as we heat energy across phase changes. And this gives you this idea of energy either going into the vibration of particles or into the sort of increasing distance between particles to change the phase. Now to actually know how much energy we need to increase the temperature by a certain amount, that's when we use things like heat capacity, which I'll talk about in a different tutorial. But you have to bear in mind these ideas of when the temperature changes and when it doesn't change during phase changes when we talk about that. Another thing to bear in mind just with this graph is that this um, our heat energy here, this graph tells us nothing about time. Some people look at this and think that like this has something to do with time, how long it takes to go from a solid to a liquid. So people have this idea of you getting you're increasing the temperature and then this tells us something about how long it takes to get from a solid to a liquid and that's not true this isn't got, this has got nothing to do with time um, if we wanted to talk about time then we'd be you'd have to think about a power because power is like a rate of change of energy but I just want to make that clear that, that like this, this doesn't tell us anything about how long the process takes okay so that's that's the basics I just wanted to make clear is this difference between the terms heat and temperature and it becomes really important when you start talking about thermodynamic processes um, because you have things like isothermic processes, isothermal processes where the temperature remains the same and adiabatic changes where the heat energy is zero. So you need to um, know the difference between the two quantities. Okay, if anyone has any requ requests for different tutorials then put a request in the comments below and don't forget you can get a lot of, lot of the kind of notes on my blog.